Less. In our top stories, reaction from the ANC Youth League on Malema's suspension and at least two potential suicide bombers arrested in Kabul. Good evening. The ANC Youth League is adamant that its expelled president Julius Malema will remain at the helm until 2014. The Youth League's NEC was reacting to Malema's late suspension and his expulsion from the ANC. At a special NEC meeting in Pretoria, the league resolved that Malema should continue to perform all his functions as youth leader. League Secretary General Cindy Somakakwa. As the NEC, we will support the president of the ANC Youth League until 2014. And us as the organization has not been informed about the summarily suspension of the ANC Youth League president. The president was elected by the branches of the ANC Youth League. His election was in the peace of the will of the people. Now we can reverse the will of the people. Meanwhile, the disbanded Regional Executive Committee of the ANC Youth League in Johannesburg has vowed to fight its disbandment to the bitter end. The league's provincial leadership disbanded its biggest region in the province this afternoon, citing defiance and lack of cohesion. A regional task team has been set up to oversee the running of the region. Johannesburg Regional Secretary Persin Zolo remains defiant. We are very resolute and you know our story as the ANC Youth in Johannesburg. We are going to take the matter forward. We are going to do an appeal process that is currently done as we are speaking now. Because we believe that we are doing very well. People who have got four branches are not being disbanded. So there is a political motive to deal with Johannesburg. So our branches today have displayed that you know, they still have confidence in our leadership. Uh, so the PEC cannot just come and do whatever as if they want. SABC radio journalist Angie Kapilianis has criticized the media for having failed to show solidarity with BBC correspondent John F. Fisher when he was kicked out of an ANC Youth League press conference in Johannesburg about two years ago. ANC Youth League President Julius Malema accused Fisher of having white tendencies after he questioned the youth leader's lavish lifestyle and was asked to leave. Kapolianis was addressing an international conference on media ethics in Cape Town. Not only was that an attack on Jonah Fisher as an individual, as a journalist, for daring to ask the question about him staying in Santon, for me it was an attack on media freedom. What horrified me even more was that not, I stand corrected, but not one single journalist stood up and walked out in solidarity. What went wrong? How did that happen? If I listen back to those tapes, I hear journalists giggling. Now, were they nervous? Was it a nervous response? I give them that. We all respond differently. But they were laughing. What were they laughing at? Surely that was not funny. The Reserve Bank has informed dealers in Kruger Rands that suspect coins will be exchanged by the South African Mint Company. This follows reports that some Kruger Rands have been found to be underweight with too little gold used in their manufacture. The Reserve Bank says the coins in question were produced in April and May 2011. A Kruger Rand sells for about 14,000 Rand and is the world's most popular gold coin. According to some reports, coin dealers were called to the South African Mint Company last year and asked to sign a confidentiality agreement that forbade them from talking about the suspect coins. Two high-ranking officials left the company shortly afterwards. A man has had to be rescued by the captain of a fishing vessel off the southern Cape off the Southern Cape coast after the crew allegedly threatened to rape him, causing him to jump overboard. Police spokesperson Marionette Olivier says the incident occurred near Storms River. The man was allegedly threatened with a knife and opted to jump into the sea. Olivier says police will make arrests as soon as the boat reaches the harbour. Recapping the top story, the ANC Youth League is adamant that its expelled president, Julius Malema, will remain at the helm until 2014.